Sai here. Welcome to Sai's Corner. I am working on a Sai's Corner sign. Different than the one I had started before. I've been making a sign, but it's not turning out. And here it is. I don't know, not liking it so far. This time I've got some yellow hearts and I'm gonna cut out some letters on some of the Ecuador wood. And then uh, I'm gonna go from there. Not sure exactly how it's gonna turn out, but I'm excited to start on it. So I used my favorite piece of machinery, which is the bandsaw. I ended up changing the shape of the S and also the apostrophe because I didn't really like how they were shaped from this font. Then I did some rough initial sanding with the pneumatic sander, another one of my favorite pieces of machinery. And then I finished it up with some hand sanding. So the planer hadn't been working very well. And husband took it apart. I was watching all the videos of you guys. I'm like, how come their planer works so well and ours works not so well? So husband took it apart and it was broken. There was something cracked. And so the wood was catching on it. And so he glued that back together or did something, replaced it. Anyway, it works great now and I love it. So I think I'm gonna plane this and hopefully cut it up and then use it as a frame. The planer worked really well and made that nice and smooth. Then I went to the table saw and I cut off slices to use as a frame. I just wish I knew what kind of wood it was. Now to sand all these. Okay, I've been sanding a lot and I think I'm ready to put it all together and see how it looks and for gluing. Yes. I think I like it. Well, the border wood wasn't long enough, but I just uh, did it in pieces, and I think that's going to work out just fine. I think I'll cut this off, and then I will uh, glue it up. Cool. I was so excited to start gluing that I forgot to cut off the backer board. So I glued up the letters, and then I cut off the backer board before I glued on the frame. I kind of did this backwards, but it seemed to work out. After a while, Johnny came out to visit me. I think he was getting lonely. So while I was cleaning up all the extra glue, I held on to him. And then I just put him in the carrier to finish gluing up the sun. I cleaned up the overflow glue from the sun and then I cut off that backer board. I flipped over this recycling bin so I could set my sign on it and have the edges hang over. Then I could glue up all the frame and have these little clamps to hang on to it while it dries. That seemed to work out pretty well. Okay, you just have to let that dry now. Cool. It's the next day now and it's all dry. Ah! Let's take days off.
Take it! Yeah! I love polyurethane. But, I'm thinking I'm gonna try to Danish oil this. Let's see how it looks. Yeah. I guess I could try it on a piece of that first. Ooh, yeah, look at that. I like that. Okay, yep, Danish oil it is. Ooh, almost got into my tea. Too late in the day to be drinking coffee. All right, let's just Danish oil it. Ooh, I love that black walnut. Love the black walnut. Ooh, I like this wood. I wish I knew what it was. Looking Ecuador wood. I think I'm gonna look for a paintbrush to see if I can do it that way. Look at that. Ooh, look at that yellow heart. That's pretty. I just hope it's as pretty after it dries. I, I guess we'll find out, huh? Yay. Now, to clean off my corner to have a space for it. Well, it's all dry and I like it, but I think that I'm going to add over the top of it some acrylic spray. Yeah, I think I'll do that. That acrylic seemed to work out just fine. So let's go hang it in the corner. Yay, there it is, size corner. So thanks everybody for watching while I made my sign and I'll see you next time.